Earlier today, we talked about DLC for Zombies, The Beast from Beyond, and we gave you a little bit of a tutorial on how to turn on the power, how to stop the cryptids from spawning in those initial first rounds. So if you guys have not seen that already, make sure you check it out before you check this one out because it is partially the setup for this. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to pack a punch within The Beast from Beyond. This one is pretty straightforward once again, as with the power tutorial, a little bit more straightforward than previous pack a punch tutorials. But nonetheless, we'll be showing you guys how to do it in hopefully the easiest manner possible. But before we get too far into it, a huge thank you to my good friends in Activision and Infinity Ward, allowing me to come out to the studio and show in some amazing hospitality as always, getting you guys this footage early. So hopefully that said, you guys do enjoy and maybe this helps you out in a little bit of a manner that you can jump right into it on launch day and get your pack of punch weapons ready to go. That said, let's jump right into the tutorial. Firstly, once again, you will need the power on because you're going to need to open up a few different locations that power just not only helps, but also to open up the portals, you'll need the power on as well here with this one. But that said, once you have the power on, then the next order of business is getting, once again, the portals open because you need to actually get outside of the station you're in and to the theater, the theater that we've seen all throughout, not only the loading screen of zombies, but also through the director's perspective and where basically the whole thing will come back to. Now, in this map, there are two massive hangars, one of which we already covered in the power tutorial because you need to go through that one, but on the opposite side, there is a second hangar that is absolutely massive. You wanna make your way over to here and to open up the first portal, the one that actually will allow everything to be opened up, you're gonna to wanna to make a left directly as soon as you enter into that hangar. You're up on the elevated platform and you'll see that there's a button you can end up holding to activate some sort of reaction in the game. But when you end up pressing that, you'll notice that there is a little bit of a laser gun that comes over on top of the roof and then will take aim at the wall or barricade in front of the portal across the way. And once you end up activating this button, it will shoot that door to open up the portal and allow you to go to the theater. That's how you end up getting over there. But from this, immediately after this order of business, you can take care of two of the three necessary things you need to grab in order to open up a punch At the bottom of the first hangar, there is like a little sub-level in which there's some cargo containers, and the only way to get down there is from one staircase. Now, wedged between that staircase and the cargo container that it wraps around, there's going to be one giant piece of sheet metal. That's the first of three different pieces of sheet metal that you'll end up needing to collect. So, go over to it, and all you have to do is hold square or X on Xbox whenever you end up going up to it, and we'll collect it and put it in your inventory. Now, the next order of business is to collect the second one in which you have to go across cross the hangar, go up to the portal, go through it, and then make your way through to the back of the theater in which you can get into the back alleyways. Now this is gonna require you to open up a few doors if I'm not mistaken, but on the back there will be one in which there is a broken down and burning car that has a piece of sheet metal once again on top of it, almost as if it was crushing it. Now, once again, all you have to do is go over to this and collect it, and then you have two of the three. So. That again is a big portion just right there out of the way that all results from just opening up that portal. Now the third and final piece of the sheet metal that is needed is right next to the Blue Bolts machine. Once you come up the staircase into the med bay, you'll see that Blue Bolts is right there in a little cutaway out of the map and the staircase, a little level of its own. It's very close quarters. So this sheet metal will be leaning up against those little containers that are off in the corner there. And once again, all you have to do is collect it and you have all three. Now the next order of business is to make your way outside to which you can end up seeing that there's the portal way off in the distance, but you can't quite get to it. That is, unless you have all three pieces of sheet metal, to which all you have to do is go over and hold square or X once again on Xbox a month later to build this to add the pieces over there, and then it's going to build that bridge, and then you can just jump right into the portal and pack a punch your weapon for the same standard 5,000 points. Now, as for a double pack a punch, there is seemingly a way to do it because you can activate it with one of the Fate and Fortune cards that are brand new, but at the time being, there is no real way to do it that we know of just yet. Again, we had very limited hands on time, so we don't have the steps to double pack just yet, but Pack-A-Punch itself is a great little start here, and hopefully this helped you out as much as possible to which you can jump right into it once again in DLC 4 at launch. So that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. A huge thank you once again to Activision and Infinity Ward for bringing me out here to DLC 4, but also a huge thank you to you guys for allowing me to do these sorts of things by supporting the videos every day, day in and day out. It truly does mean the world to me, so thank you dudes so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay updated with everything we have here regarding DLC 4 and anything Call of Duty wise. So if any of that interests you, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a beat. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to check up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. 
But all that said, now out of the way, I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.